hello, it's Deborah from The Attic. When we usually get together, we're doing paper-based crafts. So we're making some cards or we're making journals. And I wanted to show you something different. This is what I turn to in the evenings when I'm sitting downstairs with everybody else and maybe we're watching TV or having a chat, or whatever it may be. And I like to sit and do something. I can't just sit with my hands still and not use time. So what I tend to do is I will turn to fibres. So I will maybe sew, I'll make quilts or I'll do needle felting. And I wanted to show you this because this is a little squirrel. This only took a couple of evenings to make. It's not quite finished. I've got to do a little bit of tidying up on it. But this is the most gorgeous little squirrel that I made using a kit. And the kit came from a very clever and very imaginative illustrator and needle felter called Gretel Parker. Now I've known Gretel's work for some time and I think what she produces is magical and she runs workshops and she does classes so she can share those skills but now she's also to, to so that more people can access what she does she has online courses and this is the first little character from her online course and as soon as I saw it I signed up I paid I got my I got myself organized I got my wool and everything and um because I had to make this little squirrel and on her course it's uh, it's online so it's easy to access I'll provide a link below the video so you can go and have a look if you're interested and it takes you step by step exactly how to make this. I mean I don't usually work in 3D, I work in 2D because I'm working with paper but this I wanted to show you that you can make this too. This is within your reach um, and it's a it's a lovely way to spend your time and if you haven't seen needle felting before let me just show you what happens. You get this, this is called wool roving, um, it's sort of wool before it's wool in a strand as we know and, and would knit with although I can't knit for toffee, I've never been able to knit. And what I've got here is a little foam foam block on which to work so that I don't um, break the end of my needle. The needles are quite different to anything, uh, uh, any needle, as in a standard needle, because the barbs, there are barbs at the bottom, maybe half inch of this needle. Now, if I run my finger this way, I can't feel them. If I run my finger this way, they jerk, there's resistance because the barbs run in this direction. And it means that when you put them into a piece of wool roving like this, you can shape the wool really easily, really quickly, and you can shape it into a little ball. I'm just going to show you how, how quickly um, you can form a shape. And once you understand a few little basics, you can make this shape any shape you want it to be. So if you wanted it to be a ball, you could. If you wanted it to be a little ear to go on a squirrel, you could make that too. But what the barbs do is they pull the fibres in this wool together so you can create something that's a little denser. So it's like it's like you start with a cloud and you end up with, I don't know, a raindrop. <laughs> I don't know if that works as, a, as an image, but I hope you get the idea that you can, you can create something really soft and fluffy and you can keep on working that and you can make it quite dense. So this is my squirrel that I made using uh, the online kit. That's the thing I'll provide you the link for. These are some other things that I've made in the past. And this is maybe two years ago and I made this fox. Now, I, I love this fox. It, it's the most beautiful design and that's what I like about what Gretel um, makes uh, is the, the beautiful lines that she gets and she shows you exactly how to achieve that sort of simplicity of line and uh, I made this using her book. So this is uh, her book Little Needle Felt Animals and this particular pattern uh, for the fox is uh, is here and it shows you, it takes you through each stage to show you exactly how to make it. So you've got visual references and then there is a description below to take you from the pool of wool to a final animal. And this book is full of the most gorgeous little creatures. I've made, um, I've made a few of these. Uh, I don't have them all to show you because I've given them away. 
Um, but uh, this is uh, this is a sort of style of her, her illustrations, and she shows you it's a good idea to draw something before you start making it. And that's actually what I did, even though I'm not very good at this sort of stuff. That's what I did when I made uh, a needle felt version of my little dog. This is my dog, and uh, I drew this shape. And I thought, how can I how can I replicate replicate this simplicity? Um, and, and so I, I drew this rough shape and I stuck a head on it and it turned into a dog. Um, so uh, it's not that difficult to do. And I wanted to show you that if you were just sitting in the evening thinking, oh, I want to be making something, maybe this is something you might want to consider. It's um, this particular book I, I found extremely useful. There's, there's a two or three out there, but it depends what you want to make. But I have found this one to be the most helpful in terms of learning techniques and giving me ideas for how I can develop my own my own little characters such as I did with my dog. I have been fortunate enough to go on a uh, workshop with Gretel a couple of times actually I've done two workshops with her and this is one of the things that we made so it's not just about animals we made these glorious glorious little I love these they're just so pretty it's a little house sitting on a ball of wool and then there are some uh, ball of wool sitting on needle felted wool I should say and there are some little beads sewn in to replicate flowers on the hill so I thought you might be interested to know what else uh, you could do with your time well, none of us have enough time do we um, and I wanted to share this little squirrel with you just to let you know that um, these sorts of things, I, I looked at this and I thought, oh, it looks really difficult. It's so not difficult. Um, so if you want to give something different to go, you might want to consider needle felting. Thanks very much for your time. Thank you for watching. And until we meet again, take care.